क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोज फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन द कॉन्फ़िगरेशन फॉर अ थ्री फेज इन्वर्टर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी 180 डिग्री मोड ऑफ कंडक्शन आई हैव टोल्ड यू व्हाट इज 180 डिग्री एंड व्हाट इज 120 डिग्री मोड ऑफ कंडक्शन नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट विद द एक्चुअल वेव फॉर्म्स So these are the different waveforms shown for a different gate current. Here, the first waveform stands for IG1, which is a gate current which will be provided to SCR1. IG2, gate current for SCR2. IG3, gate current for SCR4. SCR3, IG4 is for SCR4. IG5 is for SCR5. And IG6 for SCR6. Now here, as I said, as per you provide the gate current for the thyristor, for that particular time period, your SCR will remain on. Basically, it is completely depend on the gate current. As you keep on providing gate current, your SCR will remain on. If you want to make it off, you need to have a commutation circuit. Even though if you uh, removed gate current, your SCR will not turn off automatically. You should have some commutation circuit. So, in this diagram, what we have studied, I have... Even though I have not shown the commutation circuit, you need to have an external commutation circuit to turn off that SCR as per the requirement. Now, let's see the waveform. This is from 0 to pi. Now, this is 180 degree mode of conduction. That means the point where your SCR will turn on, that SCR will remain on for complete 180 degree. That means if it is started at 0, it will remain on till pi. And that is nothing but the complete 180 degree operation. Correct? As I said, you are turning on each SCR by 60 degree delayed. That means if you are turning on SCR1 at a 0, then you are turning on your SCR2 which is at a pi by 3 or 60 degree. Then you are turning on your SCR3 at 2 pi by 3. So you are delaying every turning on of uh, SCR by a 60 degree mode. So this is what you are shown. See SCR1 is turned on at 0. Correct? 2 it start on at pi by 3 that is a 60 degree. Then it is turn on at 2 pi by 3 that is 120 degree. Then 5, fifth one is turn on at pi. Then sixth one will turn on at 4 pi by 3. But you can see this difference should be maintained. So that means if it is conducting for 180 degree mode that means 180 for a 180 degree it will remain off. If the complete cycle is of 360 degree, correct? And it is it is on for 0 to 180 degree. That means the remaining 180 degree, it should be off. So if you uh, minus from 4, 4 pi by 3, 180, then you will get the fifth SCR will remain on till pi by 3. So this point is nothing but pi by 3. And again, this will remain turn on till 2 pi by 3. Now if you see the difference between 2 pi by 3 and 5 pi by 3 you will get it is a 180 degree. Now what we have to find out as I said for a 180 degree conduction your SCR which is on that will remain on for a 180 degree correct. But at a time your 3 SCR will remain on. So we have to find out which 3 SCR if you remember this diagram you have total 6 SCR, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, correct? So out of 6, 3 SCR will remain on for a 180 degree. So we have to find out which 3 SCRs will remain on at that particular point. So we will start. So here in this particular table, I have listed a interval. I have uh, classified the interval into 6 types. I have divided it into 6 uh, time period from 0 to pi by 3. Then from pi by 3 to 2 pi by 3. Then from 2 pi by 3 to pi. So each of 60 degree. I have taken each of 60 degree because I am delaying each and every thyristor by 60 degree. Then from 
next is from 4 pi by 3 to pi by 5 pi by 3 and then 5 pi by 3 to pi that means i'm taking one complete cycle that is from 0 to 2 pi so i'm taking this 360 uh, complete cycle in this 360 period which scr will remain on at which time instant so let's see the first time interval that is from 0 to pi by 3 so if you see it is from this is my 0 point and this is my pi by 3. So if you consider from 0 to pi by 3, just see in this time period which SCR is on. Now where there is a gate current is present that SCR will remain on. So if you see from 0 till pi by 3, you can see there is a current given for IG1, correct? Then there is a current given for IG5 and there is a current which is present at IG6. That means from 0 to pi by 3, which SCR will remain on? SCR1, SCR5 and SCR6. So, these three SCRs will remain on during 0 to pi by 3 interval. That is for a this is for a 60 degree I am taking. Now, if for a, this 60 degree that means more 60 degree your one will remain on but here you can see this has come because this is from the previous cycle even though if i st start the cycle from zero degree you can see if you delay it will come till four by three four pi by three and if you minus 180 degree from four pi by three you will reach till 60 degree that means this particular current you can see that this scrs are on these are for the previous half cycle or pre previous cycle of the input signal then we will go for the next time duration that is a pi by 3 to 2 pi by 3 that means from this point to this point now we have to see till 2 pi by 3 which scrs are on so if i keep the scale like this you can observe now you have to observe from this point from pi by 3 to 2 pi by 3 scr1 is on correct SCR2 there is a current present that means SCR2 is also on now 3 is not on 4 is not on 5 there is no current then 6 is on so you can see the SCR1 SCR2 and SCR6 will remain on from pi by 3 to 2 pi by 3 now similarly from 2 pi by 3 to pi I have to see correct here it is clearly seen that your SCR1 is on SCR2 is on and SCR3 is also on. So 1, 2 and 3. Next is from pi to 4 pi by 3. If you see this is a point pi and this is a 4 pi by 3. From pi to 4 pi by 3 my SCR2 is on, 2 on, 3 on and 4 on. Similarly from 4 pi by 3 to 5 pi by 3 you can see which SCR is on 3, 4 and 5. So third, fourth and fifth SCR is on from pi by 3 to 2 pi. Now here where my second cycle will start at 2 pi. This is my 2 pi and this is a 5 pi by 3. So for this time period my SCR 4 is on, my SCR 5 is on and my SCR 6 is on. This is how I will come to know which a number of SCRs will remain on for the given time interval. Only thing you need to remember is that 180 degree mode of conduction you are having a three phase uh, conduction so you have to delay by 60 degree that means if you are firing this IG1 from 0 it the second SCR should start with a 60 degree delay that means from pi by 3 then the next will start with a more 60 degree so 60 plus 60 120 so it is 2 pi by 3 then one more 60 added for the next don't pi that is a 180 degree correct i'm writing over here this is a 60 degree this is a 120 degree correct then 180 plus 60 again you have to add that is 240 degree correct then here in 240 plus 60 you need to turn on at 300 degree and so on this is how you are going to firing your scr the firing of the scr is in our hand so we can turn on the scr at that time but you can notice here that if in between 2 pi by 3 and pi if my thyristor 1 2 and 3 are on 
So for the next cycle or the for the next 180 degree operation, I have to turn off my SCR1 and I have to turn on my SCR4. You can see that is in a sequence. So here when it turns from pi to 4 pi by 3, my 1 is getting commutated but at the same time my 4 will get the firing angle. So if you see over here, see at the pi, I am commutating my thyristor 1, correct? That is up to pi. And at the same time, I am firing the SCR4. This is how your 180 degree mode of conduction will look like. I hope you have understood the waveform for the 180 degree mode of conduction. Uh, conduction. Similarly, we are going to see the 120 degree mode of conduction in the next video. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda. Do subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.